Hi, my name is Kelly McElligot and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial video on the Log Viewer tool found in Koha. The purpose of the Log Viewer tool is to see transactions that happen on the staff client in each of the modules. Now I'm going to show you that you can actually choose which modules you'd like to be logged and which you don't. Over in the Koha administration module, we can choose the logs that we'd like to turn on. Logs are a system preference and so we're just going to go ahead and click the global system preferences and that's going to bring the modules over on the left hand side and about halfway down I'm going to go ahead and click the logs. Now here I can see each of the modules and actually it gets a little bit more granular than that on um, which logs that I can turn on or off. So I have something, um, first I have the authorities log and I could go ahead and log or don't log. So if my library did use authorities, I could go ahead and change that to log. I personally, this um, cohort does not use authorities. The next one is borrowers log. This would log any changes to the patron records, whether a patron is created or any changes are made to them. So you go ahead once again and just toggle between log and don't log. We have the cataloging log. This is any changes to bibliographic or item records. And as you can imagine, this is a huge amount of transactions happening for your library. I would say that this is also when a book is checked in and out. This is advisable not to turn this on, but if this is something your library is considering, please contact Bywater Solutions via the phone number or a ticket and talk to a systems person before turning this on. This does take up a lot of um, memory on your server. We have the cron job log and you can turn that on or, or off. We have the fines log. This is when fines are charged, paid, or forgiven. Holds log. Any actions on holds. Create, cancel, suspend, resume, etc. Issues. Issues. And then we also have return log. These are when items are checked in or checked out. We have the automatic claim notice. If, that is, if you would like to make sure that that is sent, that you could turn that on. We have the report log, when reports are added, deleted, or changed. And then we have our subscription log, when serials are added, deleted, or changed. I'm going to go ahead and not log things when um, returns are made or on issues are made. So I go ahead and turn those off, and I'm just going to go ahead and save my logging preferences. Once that is done, we're going to go back to the main Koha screen and to actually view your logs, it is in the tools module. So we can go over, head, go over here and click tools. On the right hand side of the screen under additional tools, we have that log viewer and we can browse the system logs. So here we can just answer some basic questions. If you were looking for a specific um, librarian and what those changes were made with that person, you can go ahead and put in their borrower number. Now their borrower number is not their username or their card number, it's their actual borrower number. So let's pop over to um, my, I'll show you my detail screen and I'll show you where to find the borrower number. Once I'm in the patron's detail screen, I can see my borrower number here is 279. So that's the number that you would want to put into that librarian um, field. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I could go ahead and say I only wanted to see which module like patrons that this librarian made any changes to or serials or whole, any of the modules I could choose. I could go ahead and e either choose what actions I wanted to look at if whether they added say they add I want to just look at which patrons they added I could do that. What interface that it was made on if I wanted to look at all interfaces or specifically to the staff client to the OPAC or through any of your SIP connections. And then I have a place to go ahead and, and choose the date, the dates. Once again, these logs could be quite large. So narrowing down what you're looking for is really helpful to your system so it doesn't create such a big report for you. Then the output, I can go ahead and put that straight to a file or I could just look at it on the screen. So I'm gonna say, what changes did this librarian 279 make in the month of June? And I'm gonna keep this as an all modules, all actions, and go ahead and submit to the, to the screen. 
So in two weeks, there are 61 lines found. I can see that um, on June 1st, this librarian changed, their, changed this person's password, and that was done on the internet. I can see that this librarian changed a system preference, and that was called the OPAC NAV, and I can go ahead and see that that affects the OPAC. Now we did have some, um, the cataloging log turned on um, just for a moment, so I do have some cataloging logs. We also have fines, so I can see that there was a fine created for this patron. If this patron is clickable, I can go ahead and look at their account. Let's see, another system preference modified in the OPAC privacy, and then you can see I created some patrons. Once again, I could go ahead and click any of those patron names and look at it. So this is a great tool for your library to use if you are looking for something specific. Um, once again, I would caution you about the cataloging log, but overall this is a um, good tool to use. There are going to be times that you're going to get a lot of information and you're not sure what you're looking at, um, and we'd be happy to help you with any of that. I would like to say thank you for watching, and this tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions.